Hello and welcome. My name is Karen Smith and I'll be your instructor for this course, Climate Change Science and Modeling. Many of you are taking this course because you are passionate about protecting Earth's climate and are concerned about how humans are altering it. I am too. In this course, we will explore how Earth's climate changes, how humans are changing the climate, and how we can use climate models to help interpret past change and project future change. I've been concerned about climate change and environmental issues since I was a kid. David Suzuki, of course, and the Fern Gully movie were some of my biggest influences. I also loved and happened to be good at math and science. And so I went on to do an undergraduate degree in engineering at Queen's University and discovered the beauty of fluid dynamics, which then led to a PhD at U of T in atmospheric dynamics, which is the study of the large scale circulation of the atmosphere. After a research position at Columbia University in New York, my research turned to climate change. Now at UTSC, I teach about and study climate change, and I'm the director of the Master of Environmental Science program in climate change impacts and adaptation. My research focuses on the effect of greenhouse gases and stratospheric ozone depletion on climate, particularly the climate of the polar regions. To do this, I use a hierarchy of numerical climate models and statistical techniques. When I started graduate school, I really struggled with computer programming. It was not something I liked or had an interest in. I was a pencil and paper type of problem solver. You may feel the same way when working with code. So how did I overcome my dislike and ultimately embrace programming? <laughs> the more I worked with code, the more I realized that it helped me to gain insights into what I was studying in ways that I would not be possible with pencil and paper. Along the way, I asked for a lot of help. The best piece of advice I received about programming is to first try and figure it out yourself, but if you are stuck, don't wait to ask for help. Ask for help right away from your fellow students, the internet, also a good place to seek help, and you can always ask me. Welcome to class. I look forward to our first session together. If you haven't done so already, please take a look at the syllabus and the Python setup information. See you soon.